What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you why I think everyone should be supplementing with creatine. So first of all, what is creatine? Creatine is a naturally occurring substance that's already found in your body and is also found in animal proteins or animal meats. So why would we need creatine or need to supplement with it? Your body primarily runs on three energy systems, so these are the aerobic, the anaerobic, and the creatine phosphate system or lactate system. So they all have different needs. The creatine phosphate system comes into play when you need to do something explosive or powerful, but you could only do it for a very short amount of time. For example, if you're sprinting, that's going to be a short thing. There's going to be a point where you can't sprint anymore, and your creatine phosphate stores have gone and been depleted, and that's over for now, for a short while until they are restored again, and then you can have another go again. So where creatine supplementation comes in is it means you will be able to do that sprint for a little bit longer if you supplement with creatine as you're adding additional creatine to the muscle tissues. So by supplementing with creatine we can tap into the creatine phosphate system by adding more creatine kinase and more creatine phosphate to our muscles to produce more energy. So this is going to mean there is more ATP or energy for force or power production movements. So loosely this is going to translate to a higher amount of training volume tolerance so you're going to be able to do more volume than you were previously doing or a higher strength output so being stronger and being able to lift more weight. It also means there will be more intramuscular water, so this will help overall with general muscle anabolism or muscle creation. Creatine is one of the most studied supplements out there. There are over 700 articles on it. If you want to read more, I will link them in the description box below on examine.com. But basically it shows that there are no long-term or short-term effects when supplementing with creatine of about five to 10 grams per day forever. So we've got research of up to 20 years and this showed no effects, no negative effects for up to 20 years of supplementing with creatine without coming off it. Because you don't need to go on or off it or cycle it because it's not technically a drug, it's something that's naturally occurring in your body anyway. So as it is naturally occurring, we can actually get it from our diet too by eating meat. But how much meat we'd actually need to eat would be very disproportionate and quite unhealthy. So to give you an idea, in order to get about 5 grams of creatine from a diet, you'd have to eat about 1 kilo of raw meat. Because if you ate the cooked meat, the creatine would actually degrade in the cooking process, so you'd have to eat about 1 kilo of raw meat. That's a lot of meat. So obviously that's expensive and that's not going to be good for your body in the long term and have other health implications. So it's not advisable that people try and get creatine from their diet. If you are vegan or vegetarian, supplementing with creatine is going to be another great option for you as you are going to be missing out on that dietary creatine anyway. So having an extra supplement there is pretty easy to do and is going to have other benefits. Specifically speaking, there was a study done on vegans and vegetarians that so they supplemented them with creatine, so they loaded it up and then they supplemented it regularly, and they showed improved cognitive ability, so being able to recall streams of numbers back. If you want to check that study out, I will link that down below too. Another reason to take it is that it's really, really cheap. It's probably the cheapest, most researched supplement out there, and if there are no negative effects, I don't see any reason why you shouldn't be taking it, particularly if you are a power or performance-based athlete, anyone that does weight training, powerlifting, bodybuilding for hypertrophy, any of those things or you're just an average gym goer that wants to get a bit more out of your sessions creatine is a great option for you one of the big concerns I see particularly among women is they don't want to take creatine because they think it's gonna make them look really puffy or fat this is actually not true so what it does is it makes you retain water in the muscle so for every gram that is stored in the muscle it's gonna then hold on to a couple of atoms of water as well so it's gonna increase the intramuscular size this doesn't make you look fatter it makes your muscles look larger so technically you're gonna look more jacked whilst on creatine than if you were not on creatine so you'll technically look bigger even on a diet because your muscles are more inflated than they would normally be it doesn't make you look puffy because it means your fat levels are exactly the same as they were before and it doesn't interfere with your fat levels or water retention outside of the muscle, it's only intramuscular water retention. How much you actually gain is gonna depend on the person. So I believe it's about two to four pounds average what people tend to gain when they go on creatine. It's gonna depend on the size of you as a person and how much muscle mass you're already carrying. Because it pretty much speaks for itself that if you're a small girl or you're someone like me, doesn't have a lot of muscle mass, you're probably not going to put on very much water weight from creatine because you don't have very much muscle. Whereas if you're a 250 pound bloke, you're probably going to put on a few more pounds than I would if you go on creatine because you've got a lot more muscle than I have. 
Another misconception is that supplementing with creatine is going to cause kidney damage. This is mainly due to confusion regarding creatine and creatinine. So when you supplement with creatine, it tends to increase serum level creatinine and this may lead your doctor to believe that you are having kidney problems. It's actually not true and you need to notify your doctor that you are taking creatine so they can realise what's happening there and make an adjustment. If they wanted to test you further to see if they still thought you had kidney problems, they'd have to do a urine sample, I believe. And then that would rule out the fact that your kidneys are functioning correctly. You just have higher than normal creatinine levels because you are supplementing with creatine. So there's a really good article on this that I will link down below. If you do have that issue where you go to the doctor and they tell you that your creatinine levels are super high and that you've got kidney problems and you need to stop supplementing with creatine immediately, I'll link that down below if you want to read that. So how can we actually take creatine to get the most out of it? So the average dosing is about three to five grams daily and you don't need to load it. There's no real benefit to loading unless you're going to do a scientific study on yourself and you need to get loads in your system immediately. It will kick in after about a week to two weeks of taking three to five grams a day. If you really want to science it, you can take 0 0.045 grams per kilo of body weight and work out exactly what you need to be taking per day as a maintenance creatine level. So as I mentioned, it can take up to one to two weeks to start feeling the effect or the little post or the intra workout sort of buzz you get, the extra reps. It takes about one to two weeks to start feeling that and the same applies to when you come if you come off creatine, it will take about one to two weeks to two weeks to get out of your system and then that will go away. When is the best time to take it? There is no specific best time to take it. If you do try and load it, there can be sometimes GI troubles if you're putting an extreme amount of creatine into your system at once, you're not used to it, which is why I don't really recommend loading because it's kind of unnecessary and you're wasting a lot of your creatine anyway. So there is no optimal time to take it. You could take it pre-workout or post-workout if you're just doing the three to five grams. If you do think you're gonna get GI trouble with it, take it post-workout so then you don't feel any issues intra-workout. So there is a, another small minute bit of information that you may find interesting. So about it's about a one third effect of people don't actually feel any benefit from taking creatine at all, so these are non-responders. So it's about 30% of people that do feel an effect and are high responders, and these people generally have more type two muscle fibers, uh, so they respond better to it anyway. And then there's about a third of people that respond fairly well to it, that are average responders, and there's a third of people that don't respond very well at all to it, or are the non-responders. So it's worth taking for a few weeks and trying out to see if you are a responder or a high responder, and then you can safely be on it for life with no repercussions health-wise. In terms of which one to be taking, the only one that actually works is the creatine monohydrate. The other ones that are more fancy and more expensive have actually been proven to do less for the body in terms of a performance standpoint than just the regular cheap monohydrate, so just stick with that one. And the last point to make is that this supplement is suitable for everyone, so you could take it as a young person, as a middle-aged person, moving into later life and even your grandma could take it and there would be no health repercussions. There are actually benefits to taking it throughout all stages of life. So that's everything you need to know about creatine and the science behind creatine supplementation. If you like this video and you learned something today, feel free to give me a thumbs up because that really does help me out and spreads the video around so we can reach more people and help them with their fitness goals. Thanks very much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.